Okay, take note. Based on what I want you to draw, there are few things. I told you, draw y equal to sine 2x first. But there are two things to take note. The number 2 here tells you the maximum and minimum is 2 and negative 2. Then, the number 2 here tells you, oh, there are two cycles in 360. This means the first cycle will end in 180. So you see what I did? I zoom in. In 180 degrees, I must have four intervals. The next 180 degrees up to 360, I have another four. I find since this one is sine graph, where should we start? Zero. After that, two. After that, seven. After that, next interval, ah, 90. When it's 90 degree, what's the value? After zero, after that, Okay, this is our first cycle. Then we complete the same for the second cycle. Then I draw. Take note. This is for y equal to 2 sine 2x. Two then now, I'm going to do part 2. Take a look, huh? carefully, huh? don't blame. Minus 3. Oh, teacher, what's the meaning of minus 3? Can you all recall? Shift down by, move down by 3 units. So 0 will become minus 3. Point by point, yeah? 2 will become, ah, see I put the dot, ah. 0 will still be negative 3 directly below. But negative 2 will become, Negative 2, move down by 3 will give you negative 5. So I include negative 5. So directly a negative 5. Move back to 0. Move back to negative 1. So I continue. Every single point, I need to make sure it moves down by 3. Can you see the black dots? Now I'm going to join them together. Then, label y equal to 2 sine 2x minus 3. Okay, point by point. Okay, this will be easier for you. Alright, I'm going to stop here.